Okay, the mail app has uh, grown up quite a bit since it was first released under Windows 8. Let's take a look at uh, some of the features for folders. It used to be you couldn't create subfolders and all that. It was very difficult to take care of your account. Now, also, this is using IMAP and not POP3. IMAP is where your all your stuff stays on the server and stored there. So you can access it and create folders and all that remotely. But the changes actually occur on the server. So why create uh, folders? Well, it's very simple. Uh, besides just the organizational uh, aspect of it, keep things in categories for you to remember, you want to keep your inbox pretty clean. You don't want thousands of emails being synchronized with the server every time you log in. For example, you open up your phone and you go to your inbox, you don't want it to be lagging uh, trying to synchronize thousands of emails. You want it just to have maybe a hundred or even less uh, in your inbox. And that way you can manage your uh, current work rather than browsing through a ton of history. So let's first go look here under the folders. And you see all the folders I already have. Like I had created a bank one, for example, uh, a mortgage one, uh, and an old guy one, all uh, to demonstrate folders. Now to create a new folder at the top level, you simply click on this plus sign up here for create folder. And you come up here and you type in the name of the folder that you want. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to say test folder. And boom, down at the very bottom, you'll see it's been added down here. Now you'll notice it's not listed here under your folder because it has to be shown up on the favorites. So you right click and you say add to favorites up here. And you'll see that it's been uh, added to your favorites list down here. That's because if you end up with hundreds of, of uh, folders, you don't want all of them appear on that list. And you can't, uh, you can't do everything here. Well, you can do some things. You can uh, delete it. You can remove it from favorites. But you can rename it, delete it, empty the folder. And you, actually, you can put them on the start. I don't know why you would uh, do that. Uh, but uh, there you go. Uh, it's in the favorites there. Over here, I can remove from favorites, create a new subfolder underneath it. So if I click on it and I type in here, internal test folder, subfolder, and you know what, uh, let's go ahead and take the internal out, okay, hit enter, and now it's there. Now if I go on, you notice down here, it doesn't automatically add the subfolder down here. It, you don't see anything in the subfolder on their favorites. You have to go back to here and say, add that one to favorites as well. And it doesn't show it underneath that one, it just shows it as a separate entry. So now let's go over here and uh, we'll move that from from favorites. I'm going to go back to the folders and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. rename this. I can, I can right click on it uh, so that I go here to rename and I can say test folder one and it gets renamed. Okay. Conversely, if I, uh, if I right click on it again and I can say rename, I can make it back to where it was, uh, whatever I want. Again, it stays underneath the test folder. If I say rename the, the main folder, I can say test and you'll notice over here it's changed over there. Now you'll notice here I can uh, besides the uh, I'll rename it back first I can if I right click on uh, one of these and I say I want to let's say I want to delete something so I'll go to mortgage here and I'll say uh, delete. So I'll go there and say delete and say do you want to move in all the deleted items. If I say okay that folder is deleted. However, it doesn't really get completely deleted. It gets moved into the underneath the deleted items and, the, and those isn't really gone. You can actually recall it here. Okay, if I right click on uh, mortgage while it's underneath the deleted items, okay, and I say delete, it says, do you want to permanently delete it all, all of its contents? And then I say, okay, I come back to folders and now that folder is completely gone. So, uh, with that being said, let's get back to what I was doing before. I want to move a folder, for example. Uh, let's take this test subfolder down here. Let me right click and say move. And now you see a little drag mark here. If I grab it and I pull down on it like that, and I can slide it up and move it to another folder. Oops, I missed. So let's try that again. Right click, 
move. I grab it. I can grab it anywhere on the name, by the way. I have to get it to highlight. See that? It's highlighted under bank, and there it is under bank. And I can say move. I can grab it again, hold it, drag it, and drop it back where it was. So let's go uh, up here and let's go create another folder. But let's say I have a long list. I don't know what prevents it from having uh, duplicate names, for example. So if I go up here, and if I go up here and create a new folder, and I type in here, bank, you notice that you can't do it. It already exists here. At the same level, you can have only one name. You can have different subfolders uh, under the same one, under different ones uh, named the same, but they can't be at the same hierarchical level. So I should have covered something here when we we're deleting things earlier. Now, if I, could, if I have a folder and I have subfolders, and I say delete, okay, I want to go ahead and delete that folder. And it says move test folder with all of its contents. And I say okay. If I go over here to folders again, you'll see that it's moved both it and its subfolder to delete it, not just the, the, the main folder. Okay? So, uh, as I talked about earlier, once you say permanently deleted it, it deleted that folder and all of its subfolder. And that's when you're, you're toast because it's gone from the server uh, forever. Okay? So you want to make sure when you're deleting things that you um, pay attention to what you're doing. Now, one more thing you need to be aware of when creating folders is that the, it doesn't appear to be in, in any particular order when you add it to favorites. Okay, so if you look over here uh, in the favorites, there's A's and O's and M's. Here's the deal, though. There's the first system folders that are in alphabetical order. The inbox, okay, uh, and the uh, drafts and sent, okay. They're, they're going to be in that order that you see right here. Anything you create manually afterwards will start appearing below them. To demonstrate this, let's go down here to the, uh, let's try, oh, let's go to the sent items. And we're going to remove it, okay, uh, from the favorites. And you notice it disappears from the list. Now, if I go back in the folders, um, and let me do that. Okay, there we go. And I go back down here to sent items, and I say add the favorites. It inserts itself back into the top area where the, the system folders are at so they stay there like that so that's uh, the system folders stay on top anything you create though however doesn't work that way uh, it, it goes to the bottom of those so let's try one of those let's do a drafts okay and we you notice it took it out there okay and deleted items we're going to add and you notice it's down here because it's not considered a system folder per se uh, if we go add to favorites Descent, bad drafts are back in. So everything goes, those uh, folders, inbox, drafts, and send, stay at the top. Uh, so I don't get lost in the shuffle, basically. Now, if I unpin anything else, for example, and I go ahead and put bank back in, you notice that bank is now out of order. So the only way to move those around is to remove them from favorites and put them back in again in alphabetical order, which can become tedious. What's well, important to know about IMAP applications is that as you create and delete and do different things here in your folders in your mail client on your desktop, uh, it'll actually translate into changes on the web and on any remote devices that you have connected up to IMAP as well. For example, here uh, are the folders that I've been playing around with on mail client. So if I create them on one, they appear here. And conversely, by the way, if you create folders here or move them here, you can do the same thing. Uh, to show you that, let's go over here and let's create a new folder. Uh, let's call it test folder again. And we put it in here. There it is there at the bottom. Okay. If I go over here to the uh, browser, there it is, test folder. And uh, I, by the way, I can move it in here, and I'll move it on the other side as well. So if I want to uh, take it, which is now it's not underneath old guy, it's, it's one folder below it, it's not underneath it. But now if I go there, and it's a subfolder, you'll notice that if I go back to the mail client, 
and it doesn't seem to be there. That's the favorites list. But if I go to the actual folder list up here, you'll see that it's been moved underneath old guy immediately uh, with that. And for that matter, we could actually move it somewhere else if we wanted to and uh, plop it somewhere else. Now, if you're using Gmail, you can do the same thing because Gmail, instead of calling them folders, they call them filters, but they basically do the same thing. You just uh, move them around or rename them. They uh, all work the same way as folders do in Outlook. So now that you have all these folders get organized, how do you move stuff around? Well, here's an email I sent to this account uh, from my other account. I just simply drag it from the inbox down here to where I want to put it, and I drop it. And there it is. If I click on that folder, you'll see that it's there. If I move it down here to another one, and I click on that folder, you'll see it, it's there as well. But what happens if the folder's not on your favorites list? You simply go over here to the where at the top where it says folders, and all your folders will appear. And you simply go to there, move it around that way. And now you'll see that if I uh, refresh, it's not there under old guy. But if I go to folders, it's under the test folder where I drug it, dragged it to, drug it to. Okay, and I can drag it back out to the inbox, click on here to update uh, that, and sure enough, uh, if I click on it, there it is back in the inbox. So there's how you move mail between your inbox or anywhere else to other of one of your new folders. So there you have it. There's the um, folder management under the latest version of uh, Windows Mail uh, 2017.